Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for the love on the last video that you gave to myself and Petra. If you have not seen that, please do go check it out and go and share the love on her page. She's amazing. We had so much fun. I ended up, as I said in the last video, I'm out of resin. This is my last batch of resin. I ended up with quite a lot of clear left and all of those piping bags were also full up. So straight after I filmed that video, I went on to film this video using the leftovers that I had. So I grabbed this coaster mold. This is from Molds and Shapes as well. This is their geode coaster mold. I only had enough resin to do two coasters. So that was it. I just knew I had to use all this resin up and not waste it. I've already poured the clear in. It's about three or four mil deep, that clear. And then I put the gold glitter in the center. I had no plan. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just knew I wanted to do it differently to the video I did for you guys on Saturday. So the coaster on the right is going to be spirals. The coaster on the left, don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. I, <laughs> I don't know where my brain was at, I was thinking Rose. In my head, this looks, <laughs> I'm laughing already. This looks like a rose. So I decided the one on the right was gonna be very formal. I'm gonna do these spirals and I'm gonna keep doing these spirals with all of those colors. I'm not so fussed at this point that they're going on top of each other, that those colors are, you know, I wasn't being very neat to get into those gaps, but yeah, the one on the left, uh, yeah, semicircles is what I was thinking. Semicircles in the gaps that I could see. That was th that was all my brain could come up with at this point. Again, I'm a beginner flower creator, so I figured I might as well film this, take you along with me. And if we can learn anything, if I can learn anything, then you guys can definitely learn something because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you enjoy it. It's a quick video. It's only nine minutes long. So I hope you guys do stay to the end with me. As you can see, the one on the left, I feel sorry for it now because I really didn't put any thought into it. It was a case of get this resin used, get it in there, literally shove it in there and just see what happens. Because if the results do come out amazing, then I feel like it's a win-win, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. here you see me toying. Do I put more in? Do I not? Do, ugh, do I? Do I not? I decided not to put any more in at this point. All of that excess resin was actually squeezed into a little coaster mould that I've got. Um, not a coaster mould, a, a jewellery mould that I've got. I just squeezed it all out. I didn't want to waste any at all. So here you see me on the right. I decided at this point, grab a lollipop stick drag those outside edges into the center. This is gonna create natural petals of a flower anyway. I felt like this was the best chance I could possibly give this coaster for it to have any chance of success um, because the resin was, you can see how thick that resin is now. And I felt like it was getting to the point now where there's not gonna be much movement. So I thought if I can help that movement along, then the best bet is to just drag those edges in. The one on the left decided to leave it as is, just to see what miracle might occur, and we might get some results from it. <laughs> oh, forgive my laughing. You will, you will understand very shortly. You will understand very shortly why I'm laughing, because, yeah. I mean, so, yeah. I go in with the heat gun at this point, just because that resin is so thick. I want some movement in that colour, and... The thicker the resin, the less the movement. So I did go in and try to heat that back up to the point where I might be able to get some blending. I might be able to get some movement in there. Yeah. I didn't hold out much hope for the left one, but I was secretly praying that I might have come up with some miraculous new design, you know? <laughs> anyway, we're going to come back 24 hours. So it is time to demold these two pieces. I can already see a clear difference between the two. This one, the gold has kind of taken over and I definitely think, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect on this one. This one looks pretty cool. I'm excited. So we'll try this one first. This is where I just went around in little semicircle shapes to see what happens after that. And oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, no, absolutely not, not, 
not at all no <laughs> but there you go we're all learning i'm learning definitely this is only my second attempt at doing flowers and this is not the one gorgeous colors though this one looks a little bit more promising i think it might have to do with the resin depth there's more resin here <gasps> oh my oh my goodness oh this is even better than last week's video i love it wow so this was the spot um yeah this was the spiral so i just went round 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 next color in that gap next color in that gap and then after about six seven minutes I used the lollipop stick to drag them into the center creating these individual wow guys that is a wow from me what on earth how different are they like this is <laughs> this is something I would have expected myself to do as a beginner as a complete beginner no clue what I'm doing guys to be honest just trial and error but this i think the resin gods were looking down on me on this one just yeah just yes is yes is all i've got wow wow okay so i'm gonna stop saying wow this is a keeper this is a live and learn lesson i very 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 rarely throw resin pieces away so chances are i will still keep it and it will live in my house for the rest of my life <laughs> but um this absolutely yes so thank you so much if you've made it this far you're amazing and i hope you've enjoyed this one as well using the leftover resin from the previous video um i had some left in the piping bags so i figured i would just crack on and make some more and i'm so glad i did because my ultimate favorite absolute favorite so thank you thanks again if you've got any tips on the flowers then definitely let me know but um yeah take care and i will see you in my next video which will not be resin because i'm completely out but yeah who knows what it will be i'll see you then bye